Hello everyone and greetings once again from sunny southwest Florida. Since the weather here is getting a little bit cooler in the morning, I decided to do this vid outside of my porch. So today we will be dealing, will be a collection vid dealing with uh, two systems. Actually it's going to be four, but the other three I'm just going to lump into one. So the first I'll be showing you is from the system I initially got as a kid, and this is the Atari 5200. I know a lot of people hate the system, but it was my first. I asked my father for it, got it around 1984. I wanted an Atari 2600, but the salesman decided to give him this, told him the graphics were better. And so here we go, uh, starting with the Atari 5200. First one, classic Super Breakout. Oh, I love this version of it. Uh, Berserk. Another great arcade port Defender. River Raid. Pole Position. This was actually one of my favorites. Uh, Buck Rogers and the Planet of Zoom. A weird one, I uh, haven't played too much of it, kind of a detective game, uh, Blueprint. I really got into this for a while as well, Star Raiders, Space Fighter Simulation, classic Pac-Man, huh, another classic Pac-Man. Oh, I, another great arcade port, uh, Vanguard, I used to play this for hours. Popeye, Real Sports Soccer, and another favorite uh, shooter of mine, uh, Galaxian. Now next, you know, actually this is going to be three uh, consoles, but I'm just putting these all together. It's going to be uh, my Game Boy, my Game Boy Color, and my Game Boy Advance collection. In no particular order. Mortal Kombat 2, Kingdom Crusade, Castlevania Adventure, Square Deal, is that what it is? Yeah, Square Deal, Kirby's Pinball Land. Uh, I just recently got this Operation C. I've never even heard of this game before. I showed it in one of my other vids. Extremely fun. If you love Contra, this has got to be in your collection as well. Dragon Warrior. I've seen a lot of good reviews on this. Dragon Warriors 1 and 2. One of my favorites, Harvest Moon. Game & Watch Gallery. 4-in-1 Fun Pack, Kirby's Dream Land, I never, a lot of people play this game and uh, I, it's one game I really can't get into, uh, I guess I just gotta play it again, Tetris, awesome game, Shadowgate Classic, Kid Icarus, uh, Myths and Monsters. If you haven't played this version of it, get it. It's a, it's, it's pretty much Kid Icarus, but uh, the side scrolling up and down. You can also go left and right and actually hover in this game. Tetris DX. Bust a Move Four with the two dinos from Bubble Bubble. Donkey Kong Land. Sort of Hope. Oh, uh, this is kind of a uh, Pokemon ripoff, but I liked it a lot. Uh, Robopon. Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. Uh, these games, the Castlevanias, I guess, have gotten a kind of a little bit of flack, but uh, once again, if you enjoy Castlevania, I enjoyed it, so pick it up. Miss Pac Man.
Haven't played too much of it. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Metal Gear, Metal, Metal Gear Solid. Um, I'm waiting to get a uh, Game Boy player so I can actually play these games on the TV. Haven't played this yet. Also another one I can't wait to play on the TV. It is uh, Mega Man... I can't even see what it is. Mega Man 2 Extreme. the cartridge but anyways uh, this is Dragon Warrior Monsters Kobe's Journey and then for Game Boy Advance one game I'm playing now I really enjoy uh, Zelda Minish Cap I don't know if this game is just extremely hard I suck at it it is Mega Man Zero Two it took me like six tries before I actually got through the intro screen and then uh, once again I love this love the PC I love uh, a anything that's Dungeons and Dragons, uh, this is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. So yeah, there's my there's my little collection there. And uh, all right, guys, once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later.